What's going on everyone? My name is Triforce Addiction. Welcome back to another COD Mobile video. So today I want to discuss the GKS. Yes, the GKS is probably one of the most impacted weapons that happened, or I guess that got adjusted for this upcoming season. And I do have to say, oh my God, this thing is better than most of the assault rifles. In my personal opinion, this is probably one of the more over the top changes that I've seen for a weapon like this because for me personally the gks was always fine where it was the only time you would really ever get a three shot kill was when you landed all three shots on the head but you know that would i mean that was kind of expected you know with the weapon of this fire rate it's kind of meant to bridge or to i guess have a bridge between an smg and an assault rifle and it does a pretty good job at that and even with the monolithic suppressor alone, it still had pretty solid range prior to this update. Personally, I had no problem with it. I mean, it's a pretty solid weapon. Uh, I would say like out of all the ranged SMGs, I would say this is probably the best one, even before the update, uh, which kind of leaves the Razorback kind of in the dust because that was really one of the SMGs that kind of needed a range boost because as you guys know, the range doesn't really go that far, and if you want to increase the range, yes, it will increase dramatically, but at the same time, you're going to lose a lot of speed, and I mean a lot, way more than the GKS or even the Bison. It's kind of a shame, though, because the Razorback used to be one of my most favorite SMGs back in the day, but unfortunately, it's just not viable anymore. But the GKS, on the other hand, wow, the damage has been increased massively. So on the body, you do typically get a 36 damage if you are up close. Of course, you could extend that first range just by adding a marksman barrel or even simply just a monolithic suppressor. And yeah, the range will be pretty decent for a three shot. Uh, keep in mind, uh, as the range goes out a little further, uh, you can still score at least one headshot in order to secure a three shot but eventually it's gonna come down to a four shot kill. It almost kind of feels like if it's infinite. I don't think you will ever really have to reach the five shot area. For the most part, I think it's gonna mainly be a three shot to four shot kill. I guess you could say that the three shot range is kind of similar to the ASM-10, very, very close to each other. But of course, nowhere near the levels of the Man of War or some other powerful uh, three shot weapon. So more or less, this gun got the, the Kilo 141 pre-patch uh, treatment, you know, the high headshot damage, which I actually think is kind of questionable because I don't really think the headshot damage for the GKS should be necessarily that high up to 49 because, I mean, if it was boosted up to one more point, it would have just been a two shot to the head, which is stronger than most weapons. So um, the headshot multiplier didn't have to get raised to that extent, but I guess... Um, I'm just hoping that it doesn't kind of take multiplayer by storm to the point where everyone just has to use it. If not, they lose, which I highly doubt. I mean, there are a lot of good weapons out there that could still compete against this, especially in medium to long ranges. It really makes a lot of people regret not buying the Tactical Unicorn or even the Wanderer because, like I've said, I mean, yes, you could buy a legendary skin or a mythic when the weapon isn't good. But at some point, at some point, it is going to be good. And that's kind of been the case so far with a lot of these weapons, especially with the AMAX. I didn't really want to buy the Red Death at first because I didn't see the AMAX as a worthy weapon of using. And, you know, eventually I did cave in and bought the Red Death and, you know, it, it did pay off eventually. And that's the same thing that's going on here with the GKS and many other weapons in the past, uh, especially the Type 25. But overall, I could see this weapon being used a lot, especially in shipment, because as, because with a, a low range map like that, you could pretty much guarantee a three shot from any range within it. So, yeah, I could picture this one being the most powerful thing. So the only thing that I could picture beating it is maybe an AK-117 M13 and maybe an SPR, like a sniper, if you're really accurate, but... Yeah, um, it's a little concerning, but let's just see what happens throughout this season. It might get nerfed. I don't know. Um, it might stay like that for quite a bit because you know how COD Mobile is. But yeah, anyways, let me share with you guys my personal class setup. So a class setup that I have for you guys today is the Monolithic Suppressor, MIP Light Barrel Short, OWC Laser Tack, as well as Operator Foregrip and the 40 Round Extended Mag. So um, I built this class mainly for stability, speed, and range to try to, I guess, balance things out. Um, I didn't choose too much range over speed because 
obviously, you know, not every gunfight is going to be in close range. Yes, it will help you out, but I mean, it will only go so far. The best thing to do is not to over rely on the three shot range. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like. Make sure to subscribe for some more COD Mobile content. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.